Hey everyone, <laughs> I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I'm gonna start working on my big pedals board. That's big pedals board, not big pedal board. I mean, it is a big pedal board, but this is gonna be a pedal board of all big pedals. I'm gonna start working on this project. Um, I've been having all these big pedals that I have planned for it just laying around, and it's become a big problem. <laughs> So first things first, I gotta put down this dual lock on this board. This is a board that was graciously donated by uh, by Mono Creators. So do them a favor and go check out their link down below and check out the boards that they sell. Um, actually pretty affordable. I don't remember the exact price on this, but I remember when I looked at it online being like, wow, it's a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. And it comes with a big old case too. Comes with this huge mono case. This is the biggest pedal board that they make. <laughs> it's pretty dang big. It's the biggest board I have for sure. All right, dual lock. I've never used dual lock before. How does it work? Does it lock to itself? Compatible with normal Velcro? I hope so. It doesn't feel like normal Velcro wants to stick to it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to stick to itself. All right, I'm gonna invest in a whole new style of fastener for this board. But I mean, most pedals on this board, I'm not gonna swap them onto other boards because they're so big. Let's see if I can put it on straight. You think this is a smart way to do it, to lay it out in strips, or you think I should have done it in little patches for the specific pedals. Because they're not sized to be strips. Maybe I should do it in patches. Might, might be off to a rough start here. Let's lay out some pedals I know I want on here. Let's see if I can pull this off. Try to save it. That's a reasonable job salvaging that. Surfy Bear. Blood Buzz. This one's gonna be tricky to Velcro because it's got the feet on there. Maybe I should do zip ties for that one. A little bit uglier to do zip ties, but it'll work. I think I've got some long zip ties around here somewhere. I've got the Janus as a tremolo and also a fuzz. We've got fuzz, fuzz, and tremolo here. Big problem with this board is I don't know how I'm gonna power everything. Reverb before delay in this case. This is like an echo thing. I think I just need to get like a power strip that I put underneath this. I like to have multiple fuzzes and drives. Maybe the Palisades will go in there. I've also got this guy here, the plus. And I need a tuner. I've got the strobe tuner here. At least a space there for something big. Have I run out of room on the big pedals board already? <laughs> Tuner can go up there. I think that looks kind of decent. So in this scenario, I would go wah into Blood Buzz, into Janus, into Palisades, into Plus, Sustain Pedal, into, no, I should have the Tuner first. So into tuner, then into wah, blah, 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 up around here, into surfy bear, and out of the damp echo. What am I missing? I'm, I've, got draw, I've got two drives, I've got two fuzzes, a wah, a weird sustain-y thing, a reverb and a delay. I think that's good for now. I don't have any other big pedals I can throw on here. I wanna get a DL4 for my delay. This thing is interesting, but I'd rather have the classic DL4. And I'd also like to get like a Digitech Whammy in the mix at some point and pull out the wah for that. But I think this is good for now. I think this is a good start. So I guess I'm just gonna have to commit to this dual lock stuff. Let's see if I have regular Velcro around. I have a roll 
a regular Velcro, but it's not going to give me the full coverage that I want. I'm going to go with the Duloc because that's what it came with. I'm, I'm hesitant to do it just because I don't want to get on a whole new system. Uh, but like I said, these pedals aren't going to really travel to other boards. There is room to have both kinds of Velcro underneath, although this stuff is pretty dang thick. I should, should I wire him first? Some major dusting to do on some of these. I've got this little <laughs> dusty blower thing that came with a camera kit and I have a, a separate one for camera kits, but this one is uh, just really convenient for dusting off pedals before I demo with them. Gets in between the knobs and everything. I need to figure out how to rise this up or to put a riser underneath there. I think that zip ties might be the way to go, honestly, because so many of these big pedals have big feet on them. So I'm, I'd have to come up with, you know, creative ways to get risers underneath these feet. I don't really want to take feet off of all of these. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to zip tie down the Surfy Bear first. Hopefully I have enough zip ties to do this. never done zip ties on a board before. I've seen it done. It's obviously a, th a thing that people do. It's just never been a thing that I do. Obviously it works. Everything's sliding off and onto the floor in a comical way as I'm attempting this. It's kind of wiggly. I can wiggle around, but I don't think it's going anywhere. How did you zip tie it? I can't even see the zip ties. I don't. I only have zip ties on one of them so far. On one of them. Yep, on this one. See. Ugh. The others don't have zip ties on them yet. <laughs> I'm gonna make some little wooden risers here to go underneath my crybaby because it's got screws sticking out of the bottom and I don't know where the feet are. All sorts of gunk on here from years of neglect and abuse. It's just gonna have to be what it is. I've got all these little pads from the affordable board left over that come with every pedal. I've been cutting them up. See, I've put these wooden feet here on the bottom of the crybaby, and then I'll put my fastener on the other side of that so that it clears the screws. I could do that for all this stuff, but I'm honestly out of wood, and I think the, uh, the zip ties are going to work best for most of it. Something like this, I could Velcro this. The feet on the back row can go through the little hoops. So maybe I should capitalize on that. I'm taking feet off. That's just what's going to happen. I'm going to have to take feet off and Velcro this down. I should put these in a little baggie in the original box for the blood buzz just in case I'm not the forever owner of this pedal and I want to pass it on to someone else. Whether that be through a sale or a gift. Ah! Now we're talking. Let's try a little dual lock. Already got one strip mangled, so might as well go all the way. Well, it's on there. I'll try it for the Janus as well. Lost the, uh, the overhead camera there a while back, probably two minutes ago. I got the, uh, the blood buzz put on with dual lock. Now I'm gonna do dual lock for 
the Janus. I'm a little afraid of this stuff. It feels like you really gotta press it down. Is this gonna be too intense? See, that's what I was afraid of. I can't get it back on now. I don't like it. I can't, I can't get it to stick now. No, no, I don't like Duloc. I'll leave the uh, the blood buzz where it is for now because that's holding it on. I want to do regular Velcro. I want to go with what I know. This pedal was one of the first pedals I ever got as being part of this industry. Uh, Earthquaker Devices uh, handed this off, this off to me at my first NAM. A friend talked me up and was like, hey, Earthquaker, you guys should uh, give something to this guy and he's bound to do content with it. And then they did. Go figure. I have some old little tabs of Velcro on here that I just don't really trust. No feet on the Game Changer Plus pedal. You know why? Because they're smart. <laughs> There's smart cookies over there. They know how we use this stuff. They know we don't need rubber feet on it. I know this is just riveting stuff. <laughs> The crybaby is on there. All right, what's missing now? One more. On this one, the bottom rubber feet kind of lock in. I wonder if I could get away with some Velcro right here. It's all on there. Now I just have to wire it up and uh, trim up these zip ties. Let's worry about the cabling before we worry about power. I'm gonna use this Boss solderless kit to do the cabling. For some extra fun, I think I'm gonna wire the wah in between the fuzz and the drive on the blood buzz. These solderless kits are just awesome for custom cable links like this. Just on the fly, come up with whatever you want. Just hopefully, you know, <laughs> I don't get any duds when I'm putting them together. I mean, if you get a dud, it's easy to just take the jack off retrim the cable a little bit and reseat it. But on a board like this, when I'm doing all the cables, might be a little tough to troubleshoot when the time comes. Oh, there's a battery in there. I always forget about that. <laughs> now we need to run the fuzz out around and under to the wah in. Now I've got to go from the wah to the drive in on the blood buzz. I haven't used this wah in so long, I honestly wonder if it works. There's a possibility it doesn't work at all. Now, the fun stuff. Finally, I'm getting out of this corner. Go output to the Janus. Give me more fuzz, <laughs> because of course, and then a tremolo, which will interestingly go, maybe this should have gone earlier in the chain because the tremolo is gonna be feeding into this. That'll be fine, it'll be fun. I'm kind of a slave to the size of everything too. Like it wouldn't have fit 
over here too well. Here's a longer run going all the way over to the surfy bear. Should probably trim this long enough so it can go under the board. This should be the last cable, right? The input on the damp echo. Power for this is gonna be a little interesting because this requires its own power wart and this requires its own power wart. So I think I need to get a power strip to put underneath this and then I can run the rest of this off of a little cheap power brick. Well, it's all wired up um, except for power. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna go have dinner with my family. I'll come back in the morning and uh, get it all powered up and then get it on the floor and play through this thing. All right, here's to hoping all that, uh, all that cabling works. All right, new day, new flannel. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna try to wire up the power for this thing. Uh, I've got a power strip here because I'm gonna need it for the Surfy Bear and for this damp echo. I wanna call it the damn echo. Uh, the Surfy Bear requires special power, 12 volts and one full amp. And then <laughs> the damp echo requires special power too, um, 24 volts and one amp. So I can't put those on this little cheap, uh, you know, import power brick thing that I have here. So I'll be running this and the other two off of this, hopefully. Will they all fit? Ooh, they might not all fit. Oh, we got a side-by-side -side here. They'll all fit on there. So lucky, so close. All right, let's get to work. All right, everything's all wired up and has power as far as I can tell. This is still a mystery, the crybaby. Um, I was able to get everything secured down there with Velcro and uh, a little bit of uh, zip ties here and there. And uh, you know what? Let's plug it in, see if it works. What guitar to use? Let's use the Starfield. I'm not hearing any signal. <coughs> Amp works. Let's start going backwards, find out where the problem is. So we'll bypass the tuner and the wah. Well, that was easy. That means there is a problem in the cable going between the tuner into the fuzz input. Only one cable is bad. Let's see if we can fix it. We'll just trim this up. Oh, that doesn't look good. Well, I've never opened one of these before, so I don't know what they're supposed to look at, look like, but it definitely tweaks it in a way. We'll just try reseating both sides and see what happens. Yeah, that side not as mangled as the other side was. I'm sure that was my issue. There we go. We're in business. I should probably get myself a cable tester at some point. There we go. All right.
Let's hear how this board sounds. <laughs> Am I in tune? That's the question. <laughs> All right, let's start testing stuff. Fuzz from the Blood Buzz. So with this rig, I get to have a fuzz before the wah and I have a fuzz after the wah. Let's try the fuzz after the wall. We've got the drive from the blood buzz. Already out of tune. You might be able to tell from my flannel, but it's a cold morning here in Southern California. You know, Southern California cold. Find it out in the comments. I know you. I know you will. Oh, you think it's cold in San Diego? Blah blah blah. Oh, I, I live here and there, and it's uh, it's this temperature. Sure, whatever. It's it's colder than normal today. The guitar is falling out of tune. I had to put on a green flannel. <laughs> drive sound. Tremolo from the Janus. I kind of wish this had a loop in it so I could put the trim after the verb and everything else. But uh, this is what I have for now. I bet it'll sound crazy in front of the drive. Not too bad. I haven't used this Palisades in forever. Oh, there we go. You always gotta have something weird on your board, and in this case, the plus pedal is it for sure. All right, Surfy Bear.
I need to do a video just on this guitar soon because it is a treat. It's just a special treat. All right, now the damp echo. We'll hit it with a little bit of drive. <laughs> It's really only good for like near like slap back. There's only like three repeats on there. It's pretty much dimed. It is dimed now. All those knobs are up. This is a tube powered echo unit. I got this thing in a secret Santa. It's cool, but it's pretty dang inconvenient. And he's at 24 volt uh, power supply on there a full amp of power. That tube has got a blue light on it that I'll have to put a, post a picture of. It takes up a ton of space and it doesn't do very much. Maybe that tube needs to warm up or you really need to push it to get more repeats out of it. I think the tube needs to warm up for this thing to have a decent amount of repeats on it. There's also like a dynamic thing going on where if I really dig in, then it charges it up and the repeats go longer. I'm gonna have to keep it around just because it's so weird, but I do want to get a Line 6 DL4 on here, the classic giant delay. You know what? I want to get this thing on the floor. I want to do a proper jam with it. With the wah, of course, because I can't do it while I'm sitting down. I think this is going to be a fun board. All right, all dialed in, ready to go. I know some of the viewers were scared by the overhead camera here, but that's a necessary evil right now to get this shot. Um, I spent some time dialing it all in. There is the clean sound. Let's get straight into that walk, because that's why I'm doing this.
I might be falling in love with that Echo now. <laughs> Once it warms up, it gets pretty wild. It sucks a lot of power, but damn, that's kind of kind of a trip. Let's uh, let's find a drum beat and a loop, and get uh, extra crazy. <laughs> I did it. I made a great big pedals board. It's a big pedal board with big pedals on it. It sounds pretty fun. There's, uh, you know, there's some redundancy on there. I probably don't need to have two fuzzes on this board. Um, I could probably take off the, uh, the Palisades. I could probably take off a few things and move things around. I want to get a DL4 for this. I want to get a Whammy because I think that would be a lot of fun. The Wah is a bunch of fun. I don't use a wall a lot often, but it's really working with this board. Um, so if you have any suggestions for other big pedals I should check out, let me know down in the comments section. Um, also, I want to change around the order of certain things on here. This Game Changer Plus pedal really needs to be before some kind of drive. Maybe like a fuzz. It needs to be before one of the fuzzes. Maybe in between uh, the drive and the fuzz here to give you like a feedback sort of effect. Having it later in the chain just it's fine, but it's not what I want to do with that pedal. Um, otherwise, oh, I think this is great. <laughs> I think this is a lot of fun. Uh, I'm glad I did it. I'm going to keep the project going. Um, stay tuned for all that. And enjoy this extended jam here at the end. Thanks for sticking around for this long one. So, bye, everybody.